In the northeastern Gombe state of Nigeria, thousands of women from various communities are being trained on how to boost their families' nutrient intake. Organized by UNICEF, the training involves growing of tubers and grains in home gardens, allowing families to spend less on food, thereby alleviating chronic malnutrition afflicting the region, especially its children. More than a dozen women gathered this week in the village of Poshereng, where they are learning at least two recipes where they can prepare crops like cassava, orange flesh, sweet potatoes, maize and millet. I have my grandson. He was malnourished and suffered from kwashiako. I took him to a health facility and they gave me some herbs. And when they ran out, there was nowhere to get another. While we were waiting, my grandson was still very sick. Then UNICEF came and saw his condition. They taught me how to prepare food with sweet potatoes and soya beans so that he will not have diarrhea. They taught us how to prepare nutritious food with vitamins. In Nigeria, many malnourished children never even make it to the hospital before dying, often because of a lack of money to afford treatment or because of a lack of health facilities in remote areas. Exclusive breastfeeding rate in Gombe State is 24%. Only 25% of children receive minimum acceptable diet. And stunting rate is 52%. That means one in two children in Gombe State is stunted. And children 6 to 23 months are experiencing chronic food poverty. This informed the decision for UNICEF to implement the nutrition program. While malnutrition is generally slow to bring death, studies have also shown it weakens the immune systems over time and sometimes heightens the chances of death from other diseases.